In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create even color backgrounds using our favorite program, Photoshop. Roll that intro. What is up guys? Welcome back to the Raw Factory. My name is Jacob and the goal of this channel is to help you become a better food and product photographer. For today's example, I have taken this quick flat lay shot that has a slight gradient on the background. But don't stress because I'm going to show you just how to fix that. If you want to follow along in today's tutorial, there's a downloadable link below which you can access and you can thank me later in the comments. Now, first things first, open up your image in Photoshop. Now, if you have watched me before in Photoshop, you know that I never work on the original image. So, right click and duplicate the layer. Name it Toast. Ensure the Toast layer is unlocked. Now the first thing you'll want to do is separate the subject from the background and shadow. So grab the pen tool and trace around the whole Toast. For some reason I'm missing the Path Panel. So just head up to Window and select the Path Panel to make it reappear. Double click the work path and rename it to Toast. Hold command on your keyboard and left click the path box to activate the selection. Go back to the layers panel, ensure you are on the Toast layer, and now click the layer mask icon. Photoshop has now hidden the background on this layer and will only show the selection on the Toast that you created earlier. Let us now create the colored background. Make a new layer, call it background. Use the eyedropper tool to sample the blue color from the background. Grab the paint bucket tool and then fill the layer with the blue that you sampled. Just like that, you now have an even colored background. But hang on, before you go anywhere, what about the shadow? What about the shadow? Well, that is the easy part. Are you guys ready? All right, let's go. Right click the original layer and duplicate it. Rename it as shadow. Ensure the layer is unlocked and now drag the shadow layer above the background. Grab the lasso tool Click and drag a rough selection around the outside of the shadow. Ensure you are on the shadow layer. And select the mask icon. Bam! Just like that, the shadow is on its own layer. But hang on, that can't be right. Correct, we still need to blend in the shadow layer. And to do this, all you have to do is change the blend mode to multiply. Add a levels adjustment. To ensure this adjustment only affects the layer below, Right click the levels adjustment and select create clipping path. And increase the highlights until the sides begin to fade in. Perfecto! Now this shadow is looking great, but I like my shadows with no color. I like them when they're just black and white. And to do this, all you have to do is apply a black and white layer adjustment. And that's it guys, just like that. Before, after. Well, that is all today, my friends. If you got something out of this video, like, comment, and subscribe to help others find this video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Remember, guys, don't wait. Make something creative today. Catch us.